Hi everybody, quickly nipping on to show you that I have been using these pens recently and they were gifted to me, I think, for Christmas of 2021. And I have been using these recently in a watercolour journal and just look how vibrant they are. Now they do take a while to um, melt in the water and they are chunky for my hands. I mean, my hands are small and these are quite big to hold. However, I do like the vibrancy of them. And just look, I've added like flooded with water and eventually you can see that it slowly does uh, melt and doesn't leave any marks. So for example, here, you can see some marks because I put less water but if you puddle the water and leave it to dry, eventually it melts away all of the marks and you have this smooth kind of blend. And there were only, I think you can get, there are three pens and you get nine colors because they're in tones. So for example, this is the pink and then you've got the yellow and then you've got the dark pink. And then this one, you've got a darkish green, a very light green, and then a yellow green. And then this last one, you've got the red, and then it's kind of orange here, and red, and like a, a darkish orange, and a light orange. Well, they call it gold, actually. And crimson, and then sunset. They do have names, which I forgot to look at. <laughs> So here, there is the meadow, uh, meadow green and verdant green and bud green is what they call it. And rose pink, tulip and jasmine, which is interesting names for the colours. Not sure if I would have chosen those names, but anyway, when I was really exhausted, I came up with this design of lots of leaves growing out of a cup and saucer. And obviously it's like maybe a sunset inside the cup. I'm not sure, but I thought the colors really went well. Now I was adding in some orange for the background just to see how it looks. I love drawing cups, <laughs> whether it's cups of coffee or anything. I just love drawing cups and saucers lately. So you can see when the cap is off how thick the, the tip is and it's flexible. It moves when you put more pressure on it. So let's just outline here where it's gone a little kind of fuzzy. So I think you'd be able to do very good calligraphy because of the flexible nib. You could also scribble into a plastic palette or a glass palette and pick up the colour with a damp paintbrush. Now they're not going to be light fast, I will say that. Apparently, on the back of the packaging, it says that they are um, a water-based dye ink. So that means that they won't last, um, you know, hundreds of years. They, um, I don't know if they'll last even 10, but majority of the time, we're going to be using them in sketchbooks. And so the sketchbook paper will be acid free and you close the book afterwards, keeping light away. So technically, if you look after your artwork, it should last 
quite a while. The Spectrum Noir tricolour pens are, for me, I think quite fun to have in your art bag or just to have around for when um, inspiration strikes because sometimes we just need a coloured marker that is water soluble that we can grab and get our sketches down and they're fun for that. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to click the videos coming at the end and also look down into my video description and you'll see some affiliate links for the products that I like to use on a regular basis. If you click and buy the, through the links, then I get a small percentage. It's a way of helping and supporting creatives such as me.